Cache Basis Reporting Acumatica delivers a cache basis reporting solution for scenarios such as the ones mentioned here. Tax filing, insights to your current cash position, and year-over-year -year comparisons after you switch to accrual account, and several others. Cash counting is not allowed for companies with gross receipts over $26 million per year or for companies that manage inventory. For most businesses, accrual accounting more accurately links expenses to revenue and provides a more accurate financial picture. Acumatica records all transactions in an accrual ledger. Cash transactions are then copied to a cash reporting ledger. Non-cash accounts can also be converted directly from the GL transaction screen. After performing a conversion, you can run standard reports using either the cash or accrual ledgers. In this video, I'll enter three transactions. The first is a customer invoice. After releasing an invoice, the system creates accrual transactions, but not until the payment is received and released will I have the option to create cash transactions by running the cash conversion process. Here is a simple invoice. I quickly release and pay the invoice. After the payment is released, I run the cash conversion process. The cash conversion process creates a new transaction in the reporting ledger and links it to the original GL transaction. Within the original GL transaction, the system places a reference to the cash transaction. The system will not create an additional cash transaction when this reference field is populated. Processing an AP bill is a similar process to the AR invoice that we previously did. Here's a bill that I need to pay. The system uses an account on the bill line to offset the cash account when I do the conversion. With a multi-line bill, there might be different accounts, so it's important to set the pay-by-line feature to ensure accurate accounting. In this case, I pay the bill a month later to demonstrate how accrual and cash registered totals diverge. I'll speed up the video while I process the transactions. Some journal transactions are not linked to cash accounts. I can process those manually. To convert accounts that do not normally appear on a cash ledger, I set up mappings. Some cash transactions hit non-cash accrual accounts. On the cash converging mapping screen, I map accounts such as prepaid insurance, vendor and customer deposits, overpayments, and tax payable to the appropriate expense and income accounts. Similarly, I use the clearing account mapping screen to map clearing accounts to their appropriate cash accounts. Here's an example of a journal transaction without a cash account. It needs to be converted manually. When I perform the cash conversion, I can navigate to the linked transaction and see that the accounts were mapped according to the rules I established. After converting three transactions, I can run financial reports for my cash and accrual ledgers. The accrual ledger and reports are not impacted by cash reporting, but you can see the new transactions I created in August of 2023. The cash ledger shows similar amounts, but in different months due to the delay in my bill payment. The 50 cent reduction in sales in the cash report occurred because I should have already counted the cash in a prior month. The cash conversion log provides a list of transactions and errors. Errors may occur if you try and convert transactions without mappings. In this example, I did not define mappings for my services company. Implementation. In my demo, I used a 23R1 environment with standard sales demo data. Since I was only doing a demo, I didn't worry about sub-accounts or open AR. To set up my demo, I performed the steps that you see here. I obtained the customization from the community page and installed it on the customization project screen. After publishing the customization, on the Enable Disable Features screen, I turn on cash reporting and verify the Pay by Line feature. On GL Preferences, I verify that cash basis accounting was enabled and hold batches on entry was disabled. Next, I created a cash basis ledger and linked it to my products company. This is the reporting ledger where all my cash basis transactions are created. To improve accuracy, we highly recommend enabling pay by line on all your customer and vendor accounts, as well as in all customer and vendor classes. After this brief setup, I was ready to begin processing. 
For more information about cash basis reporting and other products, contact your Acumatica reseller.